Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We have a very weird OMG product. This is making like a second appearance on my channel, even though this is technically something I have never tried before because it is from Almay, which is something you can literally go down to your local CVS, Rite Aid, pick this up and it's just, easy and readily available. Now, this is a peel off brow stain. I have tried the original brow stain that I had to order and wait weeks and weeks and weeks and it was a Korean beauty peel off brow. That was just like a bad video altogether. It's, it's nothing I really wanna relive, but for some reason I saw this and I was like, the people need to know, like I need to know. I'm actually super curious because that peel off brow, although it didn't really work because the tone was kind of strange for me. There was something about it that I did kind of like too. So I'm looking at this shade right here from Alme. This is the shade Brown 020. They have three shades. They have an auburn shade, a lighter, more blonde shade, and then this one. And the last time I tried a peel off brow, it was way, way too red. It was like very auburny even though I don't think that's the shade it intended to be, it just kind of turned that way on my skin. So if this can tint my brows and make them look a little bit more like I have eyebrows without wearing makeup, then I'm gonna be really happy. What this essentially does is it will stain the skin underneath and it will lightly stain your brow hairs and just make everything kind of kicked up a notch. By the way, you guys, anytime you want to learn about something on my channel, because I have 1500 videos and I have made so many videos, go to the search bar on my channel and you can type in Alme, NYX, Laura Mercier, foundation, makeup tips, like you can literally like type in anything and it will search through my library and it will pop up videos for you guys. I don't think a lot of you guys know that. So I always wanna share whenever I have an opportunity to like let you guys know to utilize that search bar. Okay, uh, peel off brow disaster. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that thumbnail was so bad, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Welcome to OMG Tuesday. We are playing with peel. Oh, oh. Was gonna show you guys like all the different colors, but I don't even want to go. Through. God dang, she is dramatic. I mean, sometimes you guys, I watch my old videos and I just kind of like sink and cringe and. Thank you so much for being with me. If you've watched my channel for years and years, I feel like every year I get more comfortable and maybe a little less cringy. Um, but yeah, I can be really dramatic. <laughs> So right here on the package, it gives you a step-by-step -step instruction, one, two, three, four. So one, you're gonna apply a thick coat to brows. Two, you're gonna hang out for 30 minutes and let it completely dry. Three, you're gonna gently peel away in the direction of hair growth. And four, you're gonna have brows that go on and on. All right, let's just do this because I have to sit here for 30 minutes before I do the rest of my makeup because I don't wanna put my foundation on and then like get bits of it stuck in my foundation, you know? You guys, I'm going to see The Greatest Showman tomorrow night and I am so excited. I was driving home this morning from running some errands and I was playing it in my car and the music was just making me so emotional. I think that's what I'm gonna do when I sit here for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna listen to the soundtrack. I actually really like listening to soundtracks or like if you're gonna go and see an artist perform, I really like getting friendly with the um, library of their work so that when I go, I know all the songs and not just the hits. Who else does that? We're gonna brush the brow hairs up. This looks more like a color I would actually really enjoy versus the red undertone. So I'm just going to paint this on. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Can you imagine if I did my brows like this every day? I got a little outside the edge, so I'm just gonna take a brush, try to kind of like wipe it away a little. I mean, you guys always tell me that you want me to have darker, fuller brows, so here you go. It very much feels like I just put a peel off mask on my eyebrows. It has that kind of sticky tacky texture and it's very thick and glue like. So you really wanna make sure you go in the direction of your brow hairs. I found when I was trying to kind of get up in here and push it a little forward almost that it really screwed this area up. So just make sure when you're painting this on to just go in one direction. And I guess now I just chill here and hang out, wait for a half an hour. It is 1.13 in the afternoon. Why did I wait so long to get ready today? Really, I need to get my life together. I will see you guys in 30 minutes. I'll just be here listening to music.
So this has dried down. It's actually like kind of crunchy to the touch. It feels so strange. It has been more than a half an hour. It's actually 2.03. It did take a little longer than a half an hour to dry. Like areas were still a little bit damp. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that I did exactly everything right and waited for it to be completely dry before peeling it off. So um, I guess three, two, one, we're just gonna do this and see what happens. I'm super curious. Oh, okay. So, oh, ooh, that really did stain my skin. Oh my God, it doesn't hurt. Uh, oh. All right, let's try again. I'm trying to get it in like one, one swoop. Oh, ow. Dang, that does actually kind of tug at your brows. Ooh, it really did stain it though, didn't it? I kind of had to pull at my brow hairs a little bit. It does say on the box or on the package to run a spoolie through to kind of get rid of some of the excess. You guys, this actually worked. I really like that. That's not bad. That's actually like really exciting that that worked. Ugh. Oh my God, it's like stuck in between my brows. F dude. Ugh, it's almost making me like nauseous. Oh, it looks like I have a spider on my eye. I wonder if you could just like rinse this off with water or if that would ruin it. It does work though. Like I can't say that this doesn't work because it really does. You can see though, especially on this brow, how red I am around my brow. Like that's kind of how hard I had to scrape the product off. This is not for the weak, this is for the wild. That does work. It looks really good. I actually am really, really surprised at how much I like this because the other product that I tried a couple years back, I just did not like at all. I didn't really think it was something I would continue using. But right now looking in the monitor, I think that this is something I would continue using because it just, it looks really natural and it just kind of gave me an extra oomph to my non-existent brows. So what I'm gonna do right now is finish up all of my face makeup, my eye makeup, and we'll zoom back out and I'm gonna finish up my brows on camera. I kind of want to see what it looks like with my full face of makeup and just these brows. And then we'll just kind of fill them in and fuss with them some more. Uh, and go from there. I actually got carried away and played with a few new eyeshadow palettes. I thought I would show you guys. Like I couldn't do a normal basic everyday type of a look. I had to play with a little bit of shine and just like a little bit of color loaded up in the crease. So I tested out this new guy from Colored Drain. I don't know why for the longest time I wanted to call it Colored Rain. Um, you guys always corrected me in the comments whenever I would say that and I think I have finally learned anyway I have this palette right here called cheers to the beauty It's an eyeshadow and highlighter palette and you guys this is incredible I am so blown away with how my eyeshadow just applied so quickly seamlessly. I really wish I would have got it on camera um, But yeah, this is what I'm wearing on my eyes with just a teeny tiny little bit of a tap of this color Gold Coast from the new Rainforest of the Sea palette from Tarte. How pretty is this like top portion? So this is what is all over the actual lid. I'm wearing really crazy lashes also from a more indie brand. This is slaylashes.com in Hypnotic. Had never tried these out. They're kind of wild. I don't know, what do you guys think? They're a little bit much. So with my eyes being more dramatic, I do want to, you know, have you guys take a moment and look at how my brows are just not standing out. So I think the Almay Peel Off product is really cool. I am gonna use it again. Like I actually thought it worked pretty well and I was very impressed that it left behind a nice stain. I will definitely let you guys know in the description box below how many days the stain lasted. Um, you know, obviously I'll wash my face twice a day. So I don't know if this is just gonna be like a couple of days or a week or whatever the situation will be, but I will update you all in the description box. So my point is, I like it for natural, no makeup makeup days, but on a day like this, where I played with big lashes and sparkle and color, I feel like my eyebrows definitely need a little more oomph and a little more framing to my face. Like this just does not look balanced. It's kind of funny, like I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, there's 90s Tati. Like this is, back in the day, I had very, very thin brows because that was what was popular. And whenever I look through old photos, I'm like, what? On earth were you thinking? Like even earlier in my YouTube career, seven years ago, 
Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is really quickly fill them in. I do think the stain is gonna help me fill them in faster, which is nice. Um, but my point is this is not a replacement for a brow pencil. This is just gonna enhance your own natural brow and not completely define and shape it. All right, so here we have it. This is the finished look. I will use this product again. I actually think it works. Just limit your expectations for what it will really do. It's not gonna give you a sculpted brow. It's gonna give you an enhanced natural brow, which I think is great. Just, you know, easy application, put it on, wait a half hour, peel it off, and it's really cool. So I'm happy I found something strange like this at the drugstore that works. I hope you guys found this video interesting and helpful. Let me know in the comments, are you gonna try this? Let me know if you're gonna try it. Actually, if you try it, send me photos of your before and after. I love hearing from you guys, whether it is on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. I love hearing from you everywhere, and of course, here in the comments. So I love you, I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.